The most important tool for a salesperson is a CRM. Without it, you simply can't do your job. But there's over thousands of CRMs to choose from. So how do you know which CRM is right for your business? My name is Vin. I've been in the tech sales space for the past six years, and I review sales technologies to help you sell better. Today, we're reviewing a CRM that's been around for over a decade called Pipedrive. The CRM space is extremely crowded. You have your high-end CRMs that are extremely expensive and very complex to use. On the opposite spectrum, you have your budget CRMs that are super affordable, but don't offer a lot of functionality. But then there's Pipedrive, an affordable CRM that offers a ton of functionality and customization. There's many use cases for a CRM, but for me as a salesperson, I use it for three main reasons. One, to organize leads. Two, to send sales outreach. And three, to forecast my deals. So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing Pipedrive to see how good it is at organizing leads, sending sales outreach, and forecasting deals. Let's get into it. First, go to pipedrive.com. Click the try it for free button and create an account. After that, you'll be brought to the web app of Pipedrive. And on the left-hand side is all the different functionality that Pipedrive offers. But as I mentioned in this video, we're gonna be focusing specifically on leads, outreach, and deals. So let's go to the leads tab. And the leads tab is where you can manage your leads, create new leads, and do bulk actions. The leads are basically where all of your prospects will live, where you're gonna focus on outreach, communication back and forth, and updating the data. So to add a lead, all you have to do is hit the new lead button. You're gonna write the contact person's name. You're gonna write the organization that they work for. You're gonna add some labels like hot, warm, or cold. This will allow you to prioritize who you're actually reaching out to. And lastly, you'll put the mobile phone number and the email address, and then hit save. Now, once you create a new lead, you can see where all the leads actually live here. And they're actually stack ranked by their labels. So for the hot leads, you want to focus on those leads first. They're the ones that have a buying signal that will probably be the highest propensity to buy versus the colder leads, which would require a lot more outreach just to get a response. So in this example, let's try to do a bulk send to these leads. So what we can do is press the square button here, which highlights all of your leads and then hit the send group email button. Now what we're doing is we're creating one email template that's going to get sent to multiple different leads within your database. You see, we have Elon Musk, we have Jay Claire, we have Mickey Mouse and Michael Scott. They're all getting this email. You're gonna go to the bottom and actually hit add field. You're gonna put first name. So what this will do is automatically update the person's first name depending on who's receiving it. So if this email gets sent out to all of your leads, it'll automatically update to say, hi, Elon, hi, Jake, hi, Mickey, hi, Michael. Right. So what you want to do ahead of time is actually create email templates. And now the cool thing about Pipedrive is it automatically has some email templates for you to choose from. So if you go to the top right here and click choose template, we want to click cold email template. So right off the bat, you can see it says hi, first name as the field, which will automatically update depending on who's receiving it. People like you are super busy, so I'll keep this short. I work with companies like insert business name, all these different fields are going to update in real time depending on who receives the email. To help them insert benefit, so we might say, I work with companies like Salesforce to help them generate more leads. What our clients like most about us is our customization. I'd like to give you and your colleague a 20 minute demo. Would next Tuesday or Wednesday work best for you? Warm regards at sender's name. So this is obviously not the greatest email template, but for this video, I just wanna show you how to use that. Before you hit send, you wanna click this I button on the bottom. This allows you to track who's opening your emails so you can understand if your messages are connecting or not. All you have to do is hit send and it's going to those four people. So after you've created your leads, you wanna go down to the sales inbox section. This connects to your Gmail account where you can actually send and receive emails within the app. Now, why would you wanna do this? Because it has those built-in templates that I showed you earlier, as well as the email tracking built into the app actual app. You're gonna be spending a lot of time in a CRM, managing your leads and updating deals. You don't really wanna to have to leave the CRM to actually go ahead and send emails. So that's where the email functionality is extremely important within a CRM. One of my favorite functionalities is the email tracking portion of Pipedrive. So you can see on the right hand side here, I have a little notification that actually tells me that someone viewed my email. So if you click into it, you can see the email and how many times it was opened. Now this is extremely important because this tells you if your message is connecting. If your message really striked a chord, they might open the email a few different times or even forward it to their team. If you have five or more opens on one email, well, that's a really, really hot signal that your messaging is resonating and you're really close to getting a response. So I will actually prioritize my leads based on how many times they've opened my emails. And this is not something that a Gmail would actually offer you. So that's why it's one of my favorite features within Pipedrive. Now on top of the emails being sent and received, there's also this activities tab. The activities tab will actually create tasks for you that include calls, emails, LinkedIn DMs, and allows you to create tasks. So when you start your morning, you know who to reach out to and what to say. So you can see I have a lot of my tasks that are actually listed here. For example, we have some tasks that are 
actually pass our due date. Now this task is actually to send the final contract out to the Empower Move account. Or we have some tasks like send proposal to SoRa. Now, once these tasks are actually done, all you have to do is check it off. It's kind of like a accountability tool and you can hit save. Now these tasks are checked off of my to-do list and I know exactly what to do, when to do it, and by when. So now that you know how to create a contact and send outreach emails, now let's talk about the deals. The deals are the most important part of a salesperson. They literally keep us afloat. Without any deals, we have no job. So within the deals section of Pipedrive, you can see all of our deals that are organized by stage. Now the stage of the deal just tells us how close it is to close. We have deals that are qualified, meaning we just opened up a qualified opportunity. There is some sort of conversation that is going to happen. The next stage is contact made, which is we've spoke with this person. We had a meeting with them. The next stage would be a demo is scheduled. So we have the first call, it goes well, we mutually agree that a demo is the best next step. And in the demo, we're gonna tour the product and make sure that it aligns to the challenges that they've expressed in the previous call. The second to last stage is the proposal stage. This is where you mutually agree that the solution is a good fit and you wanna get into the pricing conversations. This is where you would actually create the proposal, present the pricing and go through the terms. And finally, we talk about the negotiation. This is where you actually will review the proposal, negotiate back and forth on terms and or pricing or users. And so it's very easy within Pipedrive to actually one, create a new opportunity or a new deal, we can select the contacts from our database like Michael Scott at Dunder Mifflin. So I'm going to add him to the deal. I can do things like change the value of the deal. You know, maybe this is a $12,000 deal and maybe that's a lot for my company. I would obviously want to highly prioritize the deals that have the greatest impact on our revenue. Now, what this also allows you to do is help you forecast. If you have five deals at $10,000 each, well, you can say, hey, if my close rate is 40%, I'm going to close four of those deals and it's going to lead to X amount in revenue. What I can also do is add some labels. So I might wanna label this a certain deal, a certain product that I'm offering. Maybe it's a coaching client that I wanna save as a, as a label. I can actually add in the expected close date, like let's just say the end of April. This will allow me to make sure that I'm getting these deals to close at an appropriate time and keeping our prospects accountable to the close date. So once I get an email response and someone agrees to meet with me over email, that is when I would create the deal. Dunder Mifflin is created, they fall within the qualified stage. Once I have that meeting, we want to move them to the contact phase, right? And it's just as simple as clicking and dragging them. Once the demo is scheduled, we move them to the demo stage, so on and so forth. Once the deal is closed, we can actually just click the deal and actually click the button one. I like they have this little animation that helps you uh, celebrate, I guess. But then you can easily mark it as a closed one deal. And now they are officially your client. In terms of a CRM, Pipedrive offers a ton of functionality. It's very easy to use. I personally give it a thumbs up. There's also tons of different functionality that you can leverage like campaigns, chat boxes, and actually tapping into their Pipedrive marketplace. That being said, for my main use cases, managing deals, sending outreach, and organizing leads, it checks off every box for me. So if you're interested in learning more about Pipedrive, go to pipedrive.com and try it for free. Now, if you're interested to learn more about different types of sales technologies to help you sell better, feel free to subscribe below because I'm going to be reviewing more sales technologies that come across my radar. Thanks guys.